Tonight, we are celebrating the incredible work and career of Zarka Nawaz, author of Laughing All the Way to the Mosque and creator of the hit TV show, Little Mosque on the Prairie. It's such an incredible honor. When I got the call, I was like, really? But why? What have I done? It takes a long time for me to say, yes, this was an achievement to have made the show and have brought Little Moss in the Prairie to fruition. I mean, it was the first show that represented a minority community to the West, had leads that were minorities. And so, you know, the, the buzzword now is all about representation, but, you know, we had done this like 10 years before anyone was talking about it. I was born in Liverpool, England, and then we came to Canada when I was five. And I went to kindergarten here in Brampton and then middle school and high school, so my entire schooling was here. At that time in my life, I thought I would be a doctor. So I think that that turn that happened once I got to university would have really surprised all my teachers in Brampton. I went to journalism school at Ryerson, and then I w worked for Morningside with Peter Zosky on CBC Radio, and I was working as a journalist, and that's when I realized that there was this creative itch that journalism wasn't fulfilling, and a friend of mine said, take a course at the Ontario College of Art, and I did, and I made a five-minute short film called Barbecue Muslims, about two brothers who are sleeping one night, and the barbecue blows up, and they're immediately accused of being Middle Eastern terrorists. By the time it got into the theater at the Toronto International Film Festival, everyone was laughing, and I realized I had indirectly made a satirical comedy about terrorism, and that this was sort of a very new thing that people hadn't seen. I really enjoyed the creative energy of taking a really tough topic and being able to break it down into its parts and then making it funny. And that was the irony of making Little Mosque on the Prairie, was that the more specific the show was about a certain cultural group, the more relatable and the more universal the story became and the more people would watch it and say, this reminds me of my church or my synagogue. And that surprised me the most, was that you can go deep into your own community and, and strangely enough, the more you know, specific you get, the more universal you end up becoming. If you feel that creative energy burning inside of you, you have to do something about it. The world needs to hear our voices and needs to hear our stories, and nobody else is going to tell our story for us, and that our stories matter.